Okay, hi everyone. Uh, this is the last classwork of the day, so I hope it goes well. Um, we are supposed to work now on checking what is the formula for dVw using this formulas and gamma ijk. It's formula involving the derivatives of the metric tensor and the inverse of the metric tensor. So in order to do this, the first thing we're going to have to do is figure out the metric tensor again, which you already have figured out in a prior lesson, so you may look at your prior lesson um, for yours, um, but let's go over the one for the sphere. So here we have our, our sphere again. We have this simplification with the u that we talked about before, and now we should call this guy x1 hat because he's the first variable, and this is x2 hat. He's the second variable, and so our gij g i j is equal to g of x1 hat x2 hat which is the same as x1 hat dotted with x2 hat all right so we have this g i j is equal to this formula and now what we need to do is we have to actually compute the matrix g which has entries g11 and so on so here is my matrix G11, G12, G21, G22. We have to find out this matrix, and we need to find it out as a function because we're going to be differentiating it. Remember that the formula for the Christoffel symbols involve taking derivatives of these matrix. So we can't just find the value at a single point. So we're not going to be using this point yet. We need to be, this has to depend on the location. So our G11 can be found by taking this guy dotted with himself. And so when we do V dotted with himself, I end up with negative Y over U times negative Y over U, which is Y squared over U squared plus 1 times 1 plus 1 squared. That's the first entry. That's our G11. Okay. Now for G12, that means we have to dot this guy with this guy. So now we'll have the y, negative y times negative z becomes yz over u squared plus zero plus zero. So this is yz over u squared and nothing more. And g21 is exactly the same, yz over u squared. And then g22, I'll also do in blue just so we can see these different entries on our matrix very well. G22 is found by taking x2 dotted with itself. So if I do that, I get z squared over u squared plus 0 squared plus 1 squared. Okay, so there is our, that's our matrix for our problem. And now, what do we need to do with this matrix? One thing we have to be able to do is we have to be able to differentiate this matrix in various derivatives. So I need to know the various derivatives of this matrix. I also need to find the inverse of the matrix, but I can do that at the specific point. So if I put in its value at the point, at p equals 3, 4, o, what do we get for our matrix? 4 squared over, what was u? We figured that out before in our prior um, classwork. We used that u was in fact equal to 3. So this is 3. So we have y is 4 squared over 3 squared plus 1. 4 squared over 3 squared plus 1 is the same as 4 squared plus 3 squared over 3 squared, but that's equal to 5 squared over 3 squared. So this is 5 squared over 3 squared. Y type, this is the first entry, this is the y squared over u squared plus 1. And then yz over u squared is equal to y is 4 times zero, it doesn't matter what u squared is, that's just going to be zero. So we're going to have a zero here, we're going to have a zero here. And for z squared over u squared, over u squared plus one squared, I am getting actually equal to, z is zero, so this is zero, plus one is just one. So this, this matrix is very nice when we put it in at, at p itself. So let me photo that. 
so everyone can see that. And then what we next do is we want to find the various derivatives of this matrix, which means we have to look at this version. And we only need two different derivatives because we only have two dimensions, so this is two-dimensional. We need to know what is the x1 derivative, so our d dx1 of gij is just equal, what is our first free variable? In this particular case, our first free variable is differentiating in the y direction, and the second one is differentiating the z direction. So this is d dy of our gij, so we have four entries, y squared over u squared plus 1, yz over u squared, yz over u squared, and z squared plus 1 squared over u squared. Now maybe this could be simplified a little bit so that we don't have to do this, but let's just notice that this is the same as if we took y squared plus u squared over u squared, and this would be z squared plus u squared over u squared. just making common denominators there. And if I do that, what simplifies more on those terms is what is u squared? It's 25 minus y squared minus e squared. So if I add y squared to that, it's 25 minus e squared. So this is 20, 25 minus z squared over u squared. And this one is u squared, which is 25 minus y squared minus z squared plus z squared. So this is 25 minus y squared minus y squared over u squared. Okay, so now you have to do the computation and figure it out. All these derivatives, four different derivatives to figure out with respect to y. And we also have to find d dx2 of g i j is equal to d dz of all four of these entries. And then you will get an answer here and you will get an answer here. Now that's going to take me a little time, so I think it's better if I end the video and just write in the answer, um, since everybody knows how to take derivatives. All right, so let me just uh, photo this, and I will stop the video and then uh, finish the 